Hi, I'm Diane Dayton. It's the 33rd annual Boss Cosberg's Jazz Fest here in Reading, Pennsylvania. Catching up on weekend two, kicking it all off. I'm with internationally known saxophonist Eric <laughs> Darius. Thank you for being here. My pleasure. Thanks for having me. It's oh, always a pleasure. It's great to catch up with you. You bring so much energy into the room, whether you're playing or whether you're just showing up. Wow, thank you. <laughs> and it's positive energy that you have. Thank you. Yeah. So. There's so many things we can talk about, but let's talk about Unleashed. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Tell us about that. Yes, Unleashed is uh, album number eight for me, but the second album I've released as an independent artist on my own record label. And uh, for me, with every album I release, I want to keep trying new things, keep stretching myself musically. Um, so with this project, this is actually the first time I recorded live with the band in the studio simultaneously. Um, and it was completely out of my comfort zone, but in that you know, moment of discomfort, I really feel like I was unleashed in a way that I've never been before musically. Um, just the camaraderie and the, just, it was magical what was happening in real time, you know, because in today's world, everybody's recording digitally, you send files, then you put it all together. But in this moment, we went back to the way music used to be recorded. Everybody was recording live in the studio together. And uh, we literally recorded all 10 songs in two days in the studio together. And it was uh, an experience I'll never forget. And I really feel like the energy is captured in this project, unlike right. any of my other projects. I mean, it's a completely different feel. And uh, there's so many more elements musically from Afrobeat to uh, a little more hip hop and jazz, pop, rock, gospel, and just bringing all those worlds together. So this album is really special to me. I bet the other artists felt that way too, didn't they? They did. You know, I, I could just feel the energy from each and every single musician. And they brought so much to the table. And we were just feeding off of each other the entire time, and it was such a fun process. Do you think you'll do something like that again? I would absolutely love to. Yeah. Now, it was difficult to coordinate to get everybody together. Uh, Philip Laster, who produced the album, he lives in Amsterdam, so he flew in. Uh, and then we brought musicians from all over the country to, to record this project, and it worked. Um, so I'd love to be able to do it like that again. Yeah. Well, you also are on a mission with education, with music. Tell us about that. Yes, uh, I started my uh, initiative called On a Mission in the Schools about 16 years ago. And it's been my way of just giving back and making a difference with the younger generation so we can keep the music alive. Um, you know, I wouldn't be here today had it not been for the experiences I had growing up. I uh, went to Performing Arts High School in Tampa, Florida. We had one of the top jazz programs in the country. And I just had so many incredible opportunities. And had it not been for those things, I honestly wouldn't be doing this. Um, so I noticed over the years, you know, there's been so many budget cuts in the schools and the arts is suffering the most. And it's heartbreaking just to know that these kids aren't having that creative outlet. Music programs are disappearing. They don't have access to instruments. Um, so I was thinking, well, what can I do to help make a difference? So that's when I started this program. And I go to different elementary, middle schools, high schools, colleges all around the country to spread the importance of music education, inspire the kids about following their dreams, playing musical instruments, uh, tell them about the realities of the music business and what a career in music entails. And uh, it's been one of the most rewarding things I've ever done. And just to know that it's making a difference with these younger people, there's nothing that means more to me. And a beautiful thing about social media is it's a great way to engage and stay in touch with these students. They reach out to me all the time asking for musical advice and suggestions and how to navigate a career in music. And, um, you know, I just love doing that. Well, you and Lynn are on the road, like, almost all the time. <laughs> we <right>? are. <laughs> <laughs> and you are a great pair together. I mean, you are such a stellar musician. And what an entertainer. Thank you. But you know what else really sticks out to me? It's your heart. Wow. It's your heart for what you do and the connection you have with your audience and like what you were just talking about with education. Your heart, you know, you grew up. We, we kind of know your background a yes. little bit, but just, <laughs> just, just a little bit about that so people understand a little bit. You had such a strong family tie, right? right? And that comes out. Wow, that's, that's a big part of who I am. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I grew up in a musical household. My dad plays the bass, my mom sings and plays the piano, my brother plays the drums and the trumpet, my sister sings as well. And uh, music has just been a part of my existence. You know, every single part of my being, you know, is tied to music. 
And, you know, I feel like I've been blessed with this gift. God has blessed me with this gift of music, and I just want to use it to make a difference, to bring hope, love, joy, positivity. And uh, that's why every time I step out on stage, I give 110% of myself because I just want to make a difference. And you're making a difference internationally with different audiences and bringing everybody together. And I think that's a really good thing. So it's a I, blessing. <laughs> so I see what, that you are very happy with what you do. Yes. And how else are you happy? What else um, makes you happy? You know, there's so many things that do make me happy. Um, I have an amazing wife, as you know, Lynn. Yeah. She's uh, my number one supporter. We're a team in every single thing that we do. And the beautiful thing is we get to do it together. Mm -hmm. um, she helps me run the record label, Sagittarius Music. She's my tour manager. Uh, so we really, we're on this journey together. And I yeah. couldn't do the things I do today without her. Mm -hmm. um, so just having her by my side truly brings joy to me every single day. Uh, and family, family makes me happy. You know, there's something about connection and uh, just surrounding myself with people that are positive, like-minded, that are supportive, um, and that just really bring the best out of me. So family, friends, love, all those things just really make me happy. And I try to bring all of those elements uh, into my music just to spread joy, love, and positivity. Yeah, and you do, and that broadens what we define as family too, doesn't Absolutely. it? Absolutely, it yeah. does. It is a bigger family, a bigger world, right? And that's the beautiful thing about Burks. You know, I've been coming here for almost 20 years, wow. and uh, it literally feels like a family reunion every time I come here to see so many familiar faces, yeah. Um, and it's just a reunion, everybody getting together, but music is that bond that brings us all together. And uh, that's truly what makes this festival special, and I'm always blessed to be a part of it. It really does, and I think I remember one of the first times you were at Burks, and I got to interview you over, I think, was I the, curl, the Sheraton or the Crown? I don't remember. What it was the Crown. Was it the yeah, Crown? That, yeah, yeah, I, I remember, remember that. <laughs> <laughs> it was a long time a ago. Long time a long ago. time ago. <laughs> but even then, you had this presence about you, and you had this positivity, and your heart there and wow. it still is and it's just grown thank so, you thank you so much for everything that you do here and out in the world my pleasure you make a big difference thank you so much and we hope to see you here at Burke's Jazz Fest yes we'll see you there <laughs>